who have been inspiring people all over the world with passion, commitment and Swiss precision. We are proud to offer you an unforgettable show and to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Patrouille Suisse. The leader just called for military power. You can hear the engines roaring up and shortly for the brake release of two, three ship formations on takeoff. and its crew from Lufttransport Geschwader or Air Transport Wing 62 based at Wunstorf and the crew headed by Major Christopher Heike. 
Yes, thanks, Ben. Transport Geschwader 62, which comes under the operational control of European Air Transport Command, and that coordinates the military air transport and air-to-air refuelling assets of seven EU member states. An A400M is operated, of course, here in the UK by the Royal Air Force. We're seeing the Luftwaffe aircraft now, but also France, Spain, Turkey, Belgium and Luxembourg, and we have Indonesia and Kazakhstan joining the Kazakh aircraft, I've seen pictures of it, looks absolutely fabulous yeah, it's with its national markings on. It's fantastic, yes. So, as an experience. Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced a commitment to buy 20 more Eurofighters as a sign of Germany's broader commitment to NATO following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Germany very much at the heart of the title development program. We'll see 15 of these aircraft being modified by the year 2030 to the electronic combat standard, and this will allow them to replace the Tornado ECR in the Suppression of Enemy Air Defences, or SEAD, role. These machines, like so many other frontline NATO assets, so much involved recently in Baltic air policing, German Eurofighters have flown alongside RAF Typhoons in the first dual force mission of Baltic Air Policing on QRA involving those types. That was in March of last year. But here representing that force, Hauptmann Alexander Stegmaier of the German Air Force with the EF 2000. Matador 2 version of this incredible V-Stol vertical and short takeoff and landing combat jet. And here it is in the hands of Lieutenant Commander Mario Bellithon Melero on the roll.
plus that we see here from 1996. And this version gave the Spanish Navy in night and all weather attack capability. Now, Spain no longer has its larger aircraft carriers, so since 2013 they've been operating the EAV 8Bs from a landing helicopter dock ship, the one, the uh, Juan Carlos I. But it still affords them a really considerable global expeditionary capability. Recently, they've been deployed on the Juan Carlos I on what's known as Baltops, a Baltic operations deployment, which saw a small number of Harriers on that ship sailing from Istanbul to Helsinki and being deployed for six months. And as we were saying earlier with the Czech Gripen. <laughs> Thank you so much for whatever you're doing here together and for that very kind of you. 